Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwa Bili Rose Amador, and together we are Native Voice TV. We are the Indigenous people. Wow, we had a great weekend. Want to congratulate <laughs> the DQ Powwow Committee, uh, Leon, uh, LJ. You guys did a great job. It was a beautiful, beautiful oh, powwow. Oh, yeah, that's such a beautiful area to have Isn't a powwow. It? I mean, it's just yeah. out there away from, away from all the cities and everything. You enjoy the sky and just the fresh air. And it's yeah, beautiful. just beautiful, yeah. And we had a special treat because we had Floyd Red Crow Westerman give us a little concert. And... Uh, he had some really good words, really good words. Yeah, uh, some for very us. good words. Um, he also had um, he had some humor there too. He he did oh, like he a did little a rap, rap. <laughs> did a little rap song at the end, which what was, was that something about um, stuck on the res or something? What was it? Stuck on the res without a job. Or oh something yeah, like stuck. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he did the whole hand yeah. gestures. Stuck on the res without a job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute. It was good. But you know, he did announce that he has a DVD uh, that just came out, and it's called. The California Story, and it's it's really a good good um, history lesson. Can you see it? Yeah. How's that? Is that better? Anyhow, this is what they should be teaching in all the schools. In the schools, mm -hmm. because this is the truth. He talks about a lot of the former presidents, and he quotes them their words on exterminating Indians, he Indian talked. policies and everything like that, yeah. yeah. And you know, this is all part of history, so this is what should be taught. And uh, this is America's destruction of Indian nations. Mm. And this is, it. yeah, this is all the truth. I mean, it's, he pulls no punches. He has PhDs to back him up, and it's right between the eyes. I mean, it's straight on all the truth, so you should watch it. I was real surprised to see yeah. uh, Daryl Babe Wilson, oh, yeah. he's PhD, in and he's, it was a real treat. But it's something all the children should see. They should have this in every school, and I would encourage you to get this, um, the California story. It was... And how do we get it? How do you get it? Well, yeah. We don't have a website, but on the next show we will have <laughs> we'll have some little clips from um, the DVD, and then we'll tell you how to order it. But he did have them there, so I happened to pick up a copy, and it is fantastic. I would highly recommend it, and we'll get you the information on how to get it. But contact us at Native Voice TV at AOL.com, and we'll get the information to you as soon as we can. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we should have our website up shortly, so we should have <coughs> a lot of these uh, links and information on there. Yeah, so probably in about a week or two. Well, we had a real treat. Got this phone call, and it was from Sonny Reyna. So it's my <laughs> pleasure to welcome back Chief Sonny Reyna. And it's been a long time since we've seen you, and you, you're always all over the place. It's been too long, yeah. Too long. It's good to be back with family. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful to have you back. I've missed you guys. Got to hang out. <laughs> Come up, we'll go down, we'll hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Got to hang out. Where have you been? Got to hang out more on Turtle Island. Yeah. You know, we're... We're in the time of change that our ancestors saw. Mm -hmm. And the keepers of the calendars on a global scale, mm -hmm. the native cultures of the world, it, it's the same calendar of seasons within seasons as the Mother Earth orbits around the sun. Mm -hmm. So these, these are the original uh, calendars, and all of them are converging now. Of course, the, uh, the artificial culture and the religiosity with all respect for religions yeah. are, are declaring it the end of times. How, how the native leadership, the prophets, the seers, see that indeed it's the end of innocent people starving to death. It's the end of fear. It's the end of greed. It's the end of political and religious manipulation. 
It's the end of this sacred magic animal, human, suffering under false pretense. So, um, since, I, since I've seen you guys, I spent some incredible time with the native leadership of the Hawaiian Islands. And it's, it's interesting, the migration legends, because the Western tribes, the Western part of Turtle Island, majority of the tribes in our migration legends, there are references to us arriving on Turtle Island in the first or second world coming from the ocean to the west. And there, there are s uh, sacred caves in the western deserts with petroglyphs aligned east and west. The eastern side is a turtle and the western side is a Pacific shark. So this very, very same wisdom is, is in the keeping of the kahunas, uh, the, the keepers of the wisdom of nature, the keepers on the Hawaiian islands. Some incredible relevance, including a very direct linkage to the Aztec people direct linkage. Uh, Kahu uh, Naoli, the chief of Maui, mm -hmm. visited Mexico City many years ago, Tenochtitlan. The people recognized him instantly, the leadership, and took him to some sacred sites. And they pointed out that the arrangement of some of the pyramids is similar to the volcano and some sacred mountains on Maui. Wow. wow. So it's some extraordinary <coughs> magic that we, the human race, belong to. And this, this is what we're really here to celebrate. So uh, um, on the eastern side, working with the Celts and the Druids of Western Europe, identical magical culture and it's the culture of magic. And I remember one of my great aunties telling me a long time ago, she says, tell the people, boy, tell the people, there are no secrets. There are no secrets. There is only nature. Yeah. There is only nature. So around, around the world we are, we are seeing the fulfillment of these prophecies. We are seeing a, a desperate attempt by those, as the Yaki, as the Yaki call those relatives, the Yodis, the confused hearts. Mm -hmm. The confused hearts are engaged in a futile, futile attempt because the, the love, the power, the magic is coming to reclaim us. So in the bigger picture, it's, it's your behavior on the planet. And in the bigger picture, it's your respect for nature, your respect for everyone around you, your respect for yourself, your respect in the laws of nature, in that order, your respect for the women, first, for the children, second, for the family of life, third, and last but not least, your respect for the men around you. That's why the oldest relationship we have with creation, this sacred power, this holy power. Mesta yeah. old woman, old man, heart of the earth, 
the earth is a living heart. Heart of the ocean, the ocean is a living heart. Heart of the sky, the sky is a living heart. So the, the elders are telling me that the dynamics of what's going on through all of the <clears throat> geopolitical drama, and there's so much distraction, and uh, it looks like American, um, American broadcast propaganda is the worst on the planet. Man. Yeah. You know, it's just, you're constantly bombarded. Two weeks after 9-1-1, my mom told me, she told all of us, Mamsa Curandera, she says, don't watch TV too much. She says, don't listen to that radio too much because they've done something to the vibration. They've done something to that energy. And indeed, what I sense is that they've adjusted uh, whatever it is to, to create anesthesia, to anesthetize, to numb the American people. They must, because I can't believe some of the things that people are accepting. Thank you. You know, I mean, it's just it's amazing. Just outrageous it's claims, and it's right there in front of their face. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I think you're right about the anesthetists. <laughs> yeah, because everywhere so. you go, they have music blaring. It's mm -hmm. you go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. music blaring. You go out to dinner, there's music blaring. You go to the movies, there's music blaring outside. Yes, sir. They install speakers outside. Yeah, and yeah, now it's just <clears throat> yeah. so. Um, you know, my mom said, you know, just watch TV a little bit. Listen to radio a little bit because there's, there's something going on. However, we're, we are in, we've entered uh, the new cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, according to the keepers of the calendars, the big earthquake that hit Tenochtitlan, what was it? Late 80s. Mm -hmm. There was a prophecy that five years after that earthquake, the new sun would be born. So we're in it. Uh, 20, <coughs> 2012 is another watermark, if you please. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that there's uh, 2012 movement all around the world and people are like, okay, well, I can, I can lay off and be lazy because I, I've still got a few years to be gluttonous, mm -hmm. to be lazy, to put off the serious work that this physical body, this ancient soul in my heart is here to do. I can be gluttonous. I can, I've got a few more years to be lazy, to get fatter. Mm -hmm. and, and no, we're in it. But this thing is merciful. This, this power, this, you can call it anything, you can call it anything except late for dinner <laughs> because it's our food. So <laughs> <laughs> this, this power loves us. And the oldest name for, with all respect, for what people call God, mm -hmm. goddess, the oldest name among our ancient tribes in the western part of this Turtle Island is something that translates into in English, the delight makers. Mm -hmm. That, that this, this power loves us and it enjoys delight. That's why in all tribal culture, the clowns are the most outrageous and the most powerful and the most profound healers. Because this thing has a sense of humor. Well, we need humor. It's a, it's a good healing medicine for us. There's not enough humor anymore. Yeah, yeah. We grew up, our generation grew up with it's extreme humor. humor. Yeah. <laughs> so, all of you who live in America and the world, bring back the humor. Lighten up. Lighten up, <laughs> baby, lighten up. <laughs> so, um, you said something earlier, too, and it reminded me of something that Red Crow said was about respect. 
Yeah. And he was talking, where was he that he was he was saying they were... Oh, he was in Jamaica. Oh, yeah. He was in Jamaica. He said, instead of saying goodbye, they all say, respect, Mon. <laughs> and he says, we should all be saying that. You know, wow. respect, Mon, when you leave somebody instead of just bye and, yeah. you know. Like later. Uh-huh. That's yeah, powerful. Or, or see ya. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're in profound changes here. It's sad. I was a young, scared kid in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And we were lucky because in the Indian culture, we're taken to the curanderos, to the curanderas, to the medicine people. And I remember I, I was taken to my grandmother's cousin. And it was like the most extreme in the family circle. Mm -hmm. It was the most serious, serious man. He was so intense and serious that he lived alone in the South Texas mesquite brush. In a monte, he lived alone, and his camp was half a mile away from the closest dirt road. And if if he didn't want to see you, he wouldn't show up. Mm -hmm. So they took me to him. He prayed for me, and I remember what he told me. Uh, it was it was awesome. It's it's humbling, and I believe that that's what's missing, that natural magic in our lives. And I don't know that I think the digital age is a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, the traditional tribal schools uh, do not allow the, uh, the children, the students to get uh, to hook up into a computer until their senior year in high school. Let me ask you a question. As a native person, what do you think that native people need the most? just for not just one person but as a group of native people what do you think that they need the most for them to to move on as as native people of this turtle island north pole to south pole mm -hmm. sin fronteras no borders mm -hmm. the borders are you know and 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 i look at our cousins from the south labeled illegal aliens and this immigration this ar the artificiality of politicizing and to me the worst horror is to remove a mother from her child in the name of politics uh, all the border tribes have treaty rights mm -hmm. that we can cross the southern border yeah or we can cross the northern border without having to be treated as criminals Mm -hmm. So, we, the natives inside the United States, need to declare and petition in this immigration debate right now that all those people coming up from the South is our blood. Those yeah. are cousins. Mm -hmm. They're native people. They're not illegal aliens. It's the same blood that's here, and it's the, uh, what linguists call the Uto-Aztecan yeah. language group from the Maya Indian in Central America to the Shoshone in Wyoming. Yeah. We are the same people. Mm -hmm. The Comanche, the Hopi, the Ute, the Paiute, all of these tribes, infamous tribes, those of our own kind coming up just to try to eat up here. Yeah. We, are, we are them, they are us. So we need to redefine this outrageous and horrendous debate on immigration and start back, and yes indeed, what do we need to do, the native people? We need to reconcile with ourselves. Mm -hmm. this, 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 the most horrendous of our experience, and we, we're still suffering, is the American Indian Holocaust. Mm -hmm. And the American people, with this culture of conscious, consciousness, with this culture of new age spirituality, and, and I, I challenge, our American people, I say, I challenge you with truth because we love you and we, it's not that we own the land, the land owns us. Yeah. But, but the very short time we live and we're here, then it's important because the healing of America will begin when America reconciles the American Indian Holocaust. And I challenge all the spiritual groups 
the conscious groups across this land, America, you will be free when you apologize and begin to heal. Everywhere you walk on this land, yeah. everywhere you walk on this land, the earth is still wet from the blood of our ancestors. <coughs> So that's unfinished business. Yeah. And you know what? It's a challenge to all the ministers, to all the priests everywhere, to all the churches. Let's, let's heal home base first. Mm -hmm. And then we can go out and heal everything else. And us natives, we have to forgive each other. Yeah. Can you sing us a healing song? We're almost out of time, but you mentioned something, and that's what he talks about in here, and you didn't even know I was going to bring this about the Holo Indian it's Holocaust. Right that's in there. exactly what he's talking about so, in this DVD. I want to say that um, we're, in this, we're in this thing together, red, white, black, yellow, pink, blue, purple, no color, all colors. It's not color, it's about your heart, and we all have magic and love in our heart. And you know what? That's the only thing going to heal us and save us. My next CD is, I'm calling it Tsunami of Love. It's a music DVD, and it's one song from each of the five continents and one song from each of the seven seas, and it's a focus on children because the children, I have a four-year-old son. The children are going to save us. This song is for all the troops, and this song is for the healing of America. Would you sing while we roll our announcements at the end of the show? Yes. Can we do that? Okay. Show the announcements and you can sing in the background. A, there song, you go. a song for the women of the world because in the laws of nature, the alpha females lead and the alpha males get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song for the alpha females to lead us to salvation. Yeah, 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 yeah
That was beautiful. Wow. That was, I love that That's song. Good. That was beautiful. That song. So you have a CD coming out soon, and we're, we're out of time, but uh, <laughs> we'll look forward to it. Man, it's good to be home with you guys. It's great to have you here. <laughs> good to hang out more. So it, it's, it, it's important that that issue came up. Yeah. And, and I, it, it, I think it was time yeah. to let it surface. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week on Native Voice TV. Good night. Good night. Children's eyes.